Hello everyone. So today I'll be showing you how to um, work with uh, inner join, left join, and right join. And I'll explain to you what those are. But um, before we move on to those, I want to show you a table um, that I linked the employee um, with the department first. Um, so I created a new table called table employee department joins here. If you uh, create that um, and double click on that, it will have the employee ID um, matching with the department ID. Um, so basically what it does is it maps some of these people to a specific department. So um, let's say if you look at uh, John, um, John Doe, he's mapped to accounting, whereas uh, Larry Johnson here, he's mapping to engineering. Um, so with that um, said, we can start writing our um, SQL query. So the um, inner join is saying that, okay, get me all of the people that have been assigned to a specific department. Um, so let's write the inner join. Go ahead and click on create tab up here. Go to query design. Go ahead and close this right click and go to SQL view here we'll write our um, SQL statement so let's write select all from table employee department joins t1 um, t1 is the alias and if you um, don't know what it is just go back to my previous video um, I'll put in the link below and the syntax after this is in a join table employees t2 on t2 dot employee id is the same as t1 dot employee id and what this means is um, if you double click on the employee department join table here and we compare it with the um, the employees table uh, basically what I'm saying is okay match all of the employee ID in this table to the main table so go ahead and close that close that and I will do the same thing for um, the table departments so departments t3 on t3 dot department ID is equal to t1 dot department ID so after that um, go to query design up here and go ahead and click run so you will be present with the error um, that's saying you know syntax is uh, broken and the weird thing about access is you um, when you're writing your query with multiple joints you want to um, add in parentheses uh, or as I call it, uh, this kind of bracket right here. So for every two, you add in one. So for that one, you add one there and then you close the bracket right here. You don't put another one uh, just for this one. The last one, you usually leave it empty. So it's a one-to-one -one relationship here. And then the um, last one, you leave it empty. So after this, you click on run and you just see all of your um, your fields for all of the tables that you you join so we it's look a little bit messy right now um so let's clean it up a little bit um, let's go back into sql view here and up here instead of selecting all field from all table um we're going to just select the uh, employee first name so let's write t2 dot first name um we're using t2 is because t2 is an alias for table employees here so t2 first name t2 last name and then the last thing that we want is the department name so t3 dot department name uh, i believe i name it a little bit different i name it that name okay so uh, let's do that name right there click on uh, query design click on run and booyah the data should look more cleaner now so now we're seeing that um, there are four employees that have uh, linked to uh, some kind of department 
you know, and we 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 know that from here. Um, you know, John Doe is linked to accounting, Larry Johnson is linked to engineering, and so on. So it looks similar to this. Um, this mapping that we have right here. Okay, but you notice that we have one more employee that's not mapped, and one more department that is not mapped. So how do you show that in um, SQL here? So the way you do that is you either use a left join or a right join. And let me show you that real quick here. So now that we have uh, query one, let's go ahead and uh, just save this query real quick. Um, we're going to make a copy of this query. Let's name it query two. Now let's go ahead and right click on query two and go into design view. Let's delete that SQL query. And now we're going to start writing the query for um, showing all of the employees. So let's start with select all from table employees T1 left join table employee department joins t2 on t2 dot employee id is equal to t1 dot employee id and another left join to table departments t3 on t3 dot department id is equal to t2 uh, dot department id because we're joining t2 table here with i'm um, sorry a t3 table here with t2 table here um, because only t2 has the department id not t1 which is table employees um, so after you do that let's select all of the fields that we're looking for which is t1 dot first name t2 t1 dot last name t3 dot department name uh, so that name click on run uh, I'm forgetting the bracket right here and voila once you um, click run you should be able to see that now it's showing all of the name even the ones that have not been uh, assigned to a department. So if you look at Nick Zhang right here, he isn't assigned to any department right now. Um, he's not in our mapping, in our mapping table right here. So that is for left join. So right join is similar, but you're going the other way around. So now instead of, um, you know, looking for the employee table here, I'm going to try to um, right join the department table. So let's do that right now. Uh, go ahead and um, just save this query first and then copy it, repaste it again. And name it query three. Right click query three, go to design, go ahead and um, we're going to keep this, but one thing that um, we should do is we should organize it to make it look more easier for us. Um, so this one is a little bit different. All you need to do is instead of joining left join, you do a right join and you do a right join here. And if you do done that correctly, go ahead and click run. And voila, you should now see that it's showing all of the department um, and all of the people who are assigned to the department, but it's also showing you the department that has nobody assigned to it. Um, it does it. It does not show the name of the person, um, which is uh, Nick. It does not show Nick on here because we're doing a right join on the department table. So I think that's it for inner join, left join, and right join. And um, hopefully you like what you see. Go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.